there. Come on in out of that cold, brrr, Carolina winter weather. I'm Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. Now that we've inspected your chimney, we need to take a few minutes and go over the chimney inspection report. So stay with me. All right, now let's take a look at this uh, inspection report. And this is uh, typical of my reports. Uh, upper right hand corner is a legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. They're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then, of course, you'll find my comments uh, here below. Now, let's take a look at your pictures and let's go over your inspection itself. So stay with me now. Hey, great picture of the front of the house. Now, let's look at the top of the uh, chimneys for you here. Uh, kitchen fireplace a chimney is a prefab fireplace. In other words, it's all metal inside. It came out of a cardboard box and was built on site. This is all uh, regular wood uh, siding all around it. And um, these things are really, really safe. It comes with a chimney cap on it with a screen, uh, screened area to keep the birds and the squirrels and the rain from coming down. Um, the uh, living room downstairs chimney is built traditionally. It's all brick with flue liners, two of them that protrude up into this uh, chimney cap, which also has a screen around it to keep the creatures out and, of course, a top on it to keep the water out. Uh, it has a cricket behind it, which is a code required item, and it's good that it does because with the fall of your roof, if you can imagine the water just pouring down in a heavy rainstorm, hitting the back of this chimney, some of that water, if you didn't have a cricket here, would run back up underneath the shingles. But what the cricket does, it spreads the water around the chimney and keeps you from having a water leak. So that's very important stuff. Uh, living room fireplace. Living room fireplace is a brick, all brick fireplace. It's got a, a working set of vented gas logs. These, uh, uh, both of uh, uh, the living room and the downstairs fireplaces have uh, been relined. And the way that they reline them, it's a cast-in-place system. They drop a hose down. They pour Thermex or a related Portland product around it. Uh, wait for it to set up. Pull the hose out. And then once it, um, it dries, it becomes like a concrete uh, flue. And these things are great. They, uh, they have no, people never have any problems with them. It's, uh, with that kit came a uh, top ceiling damper, and that's what this is. And this is showing that uh, damper in the uh, open position. And by the way, with vented gas logs, you always want to keep the damper open 24-7. You don't want to close it, forget to open it fire up the logs and fill the house up with carbon monoxide. So for your protection, always leave it open. You can kind of see that flue system in here, and that's that new round uh, reline flue. Cast in place is what they call that. Missing a little mortar in the upper profile area. That needs to be repaired. Uh, downstairs fireplace on that same chimney. Open wood burner down there. Same uh, flue system here that's been relined. Um, and of course, we're looking at that top ceiling damper. Here it looks again in the open position. When you pull it down where this little keeper is right up underneath, it clicks right up underneath this, this um, bracket here, then it's in the closed position. And obviously, uh, you should keep it closed when you're not using the fireplace, but obviously you want to make sure it looks like this when you are burning it so all the smoke will go out. Uh, kitchen fireplace, working set of vented gas logs in here. This particular uh, insert or prefab fireplace draws air in at the bottom. It's heated up by the uh, gas logs and you'll get some nice warm air out of the top. So this you are reclaiming some of the heat given off by those gas logs. Here's what that damper looks like. It's a butterfly damper and it's in the open position and again with uh, vented gas log sets we definitely want to keep our damper in the open position. Hey, we're looking here at the flu system and it looks great. And if you folks have questions for me, give me a call 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thank you.